I'm Haley Cook. I'm from Southern California, and I go to Principia College. I chose Principia because it was actually the last college on my list. I was thinking about only California schools. I wanted to stay in Southern California. All my friends were going to be there. And I wasn't thinking about soccer at all until I came on a visiting weekend here and I saw the campus. I saw all of the um, athletics that I could be a part of because it's a D3 school. Um, and I met the coaches and I saw the atmosphere here and I fell in love with it. I'm an art major here at Principia, and this last summer I had a graphic design internship in Colorado, and I actually got the connection through one of my teachers, which was awesome, and I've taken a couple of graphics courses here, and I really felt prepared going into the, into the internship, and they were really impressed by the work that I put out, and now I have a lot of experience to go forward with, maybe for the next summer or after college. If I could have a superpower, it would be teleportation, because all of the other powers have flaws. Time travel has a whole mess of stuff. Invisibility, you could get in trouble. But teleportation is useful in any situation. If it's on the soccer field, I can get across the world in a second. I can eat whatever food I want, and nobody would know if I left or when I came back. If I could switch places with anybody in the world, it would be Jack Johnson. He's a singer. He's the coolest singer ever. He started out as a surfer, which is awesome already. And then he became a singer. He writes his own music. He's active in sustainability and the environment. He pretty much travels wherever he wants. And I think he lives a pretty chill lifestyle. He's always in flip-flops, and I think that's awesome. <laughs> Coming to the Midwest, I was already terrified of the cold weather. I came on a visiting weekend here in February, in the heart of winter. It was freezing, there was snow, and I ended up loving it because we went ice skating, which I've never done in California. And we went and played in the snow, we made snowmen, and had a blast. So even though it's cold, once you learn to dress for it, I've learned that you can put up with it. One coach that has impacted me a lot in my life is my coach here for soccer, Jess Semnocker. Um, he has pushed me more than any other coach I've had to become not just a better player, but a better person. And not in the ways that I would expect. You know, sometimes at the beginning of the season, I'd be struggling with him or have problems with myself and getting frustrated. And he would push me not nicely, not in a way that's like, here, this is how you do it, I'm going to walk you through it, but in a way that challenged me to grow by myself and to progress in sports, in school, and as a person um, to become more patient and be willing to really put in my full effort to become a better athlete. The last movie I watched was Pocahontas because I love Disney movies and I couldn't bring any of them here with me because they're all on VHS. And this one just popped up on Netflix, so of course I'm going to watch it. <laughs> My favorite summer job was as a surf camp instructor in San Onofre, California. I found it online. It was just a surf camp. I've been looking to go to a surf camp just for fun as a kid. And after going there for a few years, I really wanted to work there. So the instructors, their names are Uncle B and Pops. And they're super chill. And they're these old guys that have been surfing all their lives. And so these little kids come, and they're like 7 to 12, and they camp overnight at this, at this camp for a week. It's called Summer Soul Surf Camp. <laughs> and we teach them how to surf for the first few days, and then after they get it, um, we just watch them. And it's like great to see them progress, and it's fun to hang out and surf and camp at a beach. If I was a part of a TV sitcom family, probably a modern family, because they're so funny. There's like just a huge range of personalities. I'd probably be in the main family as some middle sister that's <laughs> angry all the time, or like <laughs> the sporty one that's always aggressive or gets their homework done. And uh, to the opposite of Haley, the oldest sister, who actually has my name, and Luke, the crazy brother. So that's who I'd be a part of.
I think the toughest part about playing a sport is the mental toughness. You've got to be on your game all the time and stay dedicated for an entire season. I think coming to the game and leaving everything else that was that happened during your day off the field and being ready to support your teammates and to grow is the most important part and it's also very difficult. I have been so grateful to be a part of a soccer team at a D3 school because it's helped me develop in so many different areas. As a D1 athlete, I'd have to dedicate all of my time to my sport and all of my body and everything. Whereas at a D3 school, I didn't even think I'd be able to play sports and here I am competing on a varsity team and I love it and my team is so supportive. I've also had the opportunity to participate in on-campus things like the, we have a PAC, it's the Public Affairs Conference that I'm going to be in, in the fall or in the in spring um, and I've been able to be a part of different academic groups and other clubs on campus and still succeed in my schoolwork which is also important to me.